Hey folks, David Creative Craft House to show you a rather unusual item. Uh, I guess it would fall into the category of a math illusion. Uh, we call it the vanishing line, and I got the idea from one of Martin Gardner's recreational math books. Uh, kind of cool. Uh, and I made this little base to go with it, which I think makes an, a nice presentation. My son calls it the sobriety test, by the way. Uh, you can really kind of mess with your friends a little bit with this. Uh, if you look at these two blocks of wood, they uh, come together to uh, form a series of horizontal lines. And if you count them, the, the horizontal lines, you will find and that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 horizontal lines. But wait a minute. Are you sure? Let's count them again. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Where in the world did the other line go? Kind of a, <laughs> got a bit of a wonderment there. Uh, we're back to 13 here, and lo and behold, now there are only 12. Can you figure out where it went? Well, I'll tell you in case that you haven't. It's a, it's a nice little little um, puzzle for math teachers, too. Um, in fact, uh, of course, it didn't go anywhere, but how did the line disappear? Well, here's how. Uh, when we look at this uh, series of 13 lines, they are all of the same length. We'll call that uh, x. However, when I turn this upside down and shift the block here a bit, I now have 12 lines. The total length of lines remains constant. However, these 12 lines are 1 and 1 twelfth longer than the 13 lines that we see here. Okay, so we've got, we end up with the same line length, but a different number of lines, because these lines are longer. So kind of a cool little item. I don't know that it's ever been made out of wood like this, but um, I, I love this kind of thing. Um, the uh, pieces in here are probably, well, these are maple, uh, main maple. I'll probably use maple and cherry on this because it lasers very well. The floorboard uh, frames are very rugged and sturdy, so I like to use those. And you may see different uh, color frames and, as I said, uh, possibly different uh, woods. But a nice item, very economical and unusual. Good little desk, coffee table, or maybe even a bar puzzle or a math teacher's puzzle, too. Thanks very much.